All right. So if you are somebody that has either sensitive skin, rosacea, acne, and you're looking for a quick everyday um, look to do your full face of makeup, go ahead and keep watching this video. So I am an over 30 mom. I have super sensitive, super sensitive skin, rosacea. I have acne. I've had acne my entire life. Um, so it's definitely so much better, but there are times where I do still struggle with acne. So excited to jump into this video to show you step-by-step what I do for my, um, not only the makeup routine, but how are you prepping the skin before that? Okay. So today I've already gone ahead. I use our three in one cleanser to wash my face. And then after that, I'm using our, um, HA ceramide hydrator. Cause yes, you can have dry skin and still have acne. Okay. Um, and then my moisturizers, I use our moisturizing stick and then the nourishing oil as well. So right here, kind of on my chin, I have a, like basically a blemish that's almost gone, but it's kind of one that gets that, um, you know, that dead skin there. So I put a little bit of our extra emollient night cream on that section. Okay. So I wanted to make sure you guys saw everything I did for prepping the skin. Cause here's the deal. You can't have a level 10 makeup with a level two skincare. So we want to make sure that you're putting as much time and effort into your prep and your skincare on top of having great, you know, makeup items as well. Okay. So there's my little my going off on that. All right. So I've already thrown on a primer. One of my little secrets is doing a finishing spray before you start all over makeup as well. Okay. So what I'm going to start with here are going to be our under eye corrector. So this essentially is designed for your under eye area. So any darkness that you have, and a lot of times people will have that in the corner of the eyes, is this is um, going to take that away with that peach tone. It's going to take away those blues, that, you know, that black color. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what that looks like. So as you can see, I have rosacea on this side of my face. So I really wanted to show a video. Um, you know, today I would say I'm pretty middle of the road right now, uh, but there are times where my skin is much better and sometimes much worse. So I love the consistency of the under eye corrector. Um, honestly, I have no idea if it's even different than this, but for whatever reason, I, and this one I lifted up was our concealer and I will use this as well, but I like to use the under eye corrector on any spots where I am showing any rosacea. And then I wanted to also show, so I have, you know, really they're basically gone, but I want to show you what I do to cover up any blemishes as well. And I want to show what this under eye corrector does to the eye area. So don't worry, I'll do the other side too. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. Today I'm going to be using brushes, but you could also use like a beauty blender. So for what I'm, what we could do, the beauty blender would probably be the lightest amount of coverage. This is a liquid brush. This will be more medium. And then the blending brush here usually is giving the most coverage. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do just because of the size, I like to use this brush here and notice how, yes, it's a brush, but here's the deal. Brushes, you don't just do this to your face. Okay. You want to make sure you're really taking the product and pressing that into the skin. Okay. So for that acne area, what I like to do is take a little brush, pat that in around it, always start with less product, and then add more if needed. So that's what we're going to do today. So you're going to see me touching these products multiple times because I'm going to be building that coverage. Okay, so already right here, do you see that difference with the under eye corrector here and not here? I don't have a huge 
issue with darkness on the on their on on the under eyes, um, but I can definitely see that difference from here to this side. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna pick up the under eye corrector. Clearly, I was dermaplaning earlier and went too fast, so we're gonna cover that a little there as well. So again, patting that all over the skin in those areas. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, so really my rosacea, like true breakouts, didn't really start happening until really I was probably in my 30s, um, maybe late 20s, but really bad when I got into my 30s. Um, with just noticing the breakouts um, of the rosacea. Um, and honestly, I know a lot of my triggers are foods, um, I would say with like gluten, um, beer, anything like that. Any alcohol is basically what makes, and it's usually only this side of my face, which is also interesting. Like it's not necessarily all over my skin. It's sometimes just that one area. Okay. So just know that if you're watching this and you have rosacea to really kind of, you can keep a log of what you're eating. Um, cause it's, it's funny. Like a lot of times you won't see it when I have foundation on, but especially if I have no foundation on and I drink a glass of wine, my husband's like, why is your face all red? I was like, I drank some wine. Okay. So, um, what we're going to jump into next, we did that, that kind of base to take away, kind of even out that tone of the skin. Okay. So lately, one of my biggest things I'll say again is add more product. Okay. So in your twenties, when your skin's different, you can probably use a lot more product right from the get go. But what I have found for me in particular is when I use less product and build it up, um, it, it comes out with a much le better look for me. All of the products I'm using are non-comedogenic, hypoallergenic, um, so they're not clogging pores, which is also key as well. If you're using brushes, make sure you're cleaning your brushes. Deep clean them at least once a week. Uh, I have a brush cleaner that fell on the ground, but I can link everything below at the end of this video. So basically, if you're acne prone, deep clean them at least once a week and then have a brush cleaner to be using in between each of each time you do your makeup. OK, so now what I'm going to do is use these beauties. So these are our it's a limited edition product. So if you do love them, I feel like cream makeup is all the the rage right now. Um, so that's what I'm going to use today. First color here is honey and luster. The second is bronze and shimmer. So I'm literally no foundation yet on my face. So this is the kind of the cool part too. So what I've also learned for my face shape is I like doing a much different contour than what you would have seen me do five years ago. All right. So basically I'm focusing that. So really it is much higher. Uh, cause I would say old me was doing the three and the E and it's much, much, much lower. So what I love about this is that using the contour a little bit higher is really sculpting and lifting the face up. Okay. So we're going to do, let's see here. I'm like going back and forth. So we'll do everything together here. And then I plan to make another video down the road to literally show that other way compared to the new way that I'm doing my contour. Okay. So again, picking up the blending brush is what this is called. So I think the biggest, uh, I'll say mistake with people when using a contour or just when they're blending in general is they're blending and it's like coming off. 
So the whole point of blending is really getting that to blend into the skin and get rid of any of those hard edges. Okay, so especially here, we don't want to go down because then that's going to drag the product down. We want it to stay right where we placed it. So really just taking it and patting it in there. And same thing here. I'm not necessarily pulling down. I'm pressing it right into where I want it to go. And then I would also say old Brittany technique would be basically putting all my foundation on first and then doing all of this. So especially with these newer duo sticks, I really like that I'm using less product. And I'll you'll see why in a second. So we're going to add a little of that darker tone. And this is the matte tone. Again, right on those edges. So this is from me talking and I'm sure my neck will get red and I'm probably blotchy all right here. Um, that's from talking. And I'm, I mean, I'm a little nervous first live, but I, again, with my rosacea, my skin will just be super red, but we'll, when we put foundation on, we will get that. So a little side note about me. <laughs> and it's always so funny. Like, nope. A lot of people get red right here when they drink. I am not drinking, not drinking today. <laughs> well, yet today, I should say that. It's, you know, the morning, early afternoon here. So see, again, patting that in. So you can kind of see already, it really is leaving that nice sculpted, lifted area right there on the face. So I didn't do it with a lighter color, but lately I've liked this, where you almost do like a little notch at the end. Pat that in and trust the process with makeup that's what i'll say because right now it's not looking that great it really isn't all right so i have the base of the contour right now so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is pick up just a little bit this is our time wise um so it's anti-aging foundation again nothing today is clogging the pores everything is non-comedogenic and hypoallergenic and like i said teeny tiny amount so we have a luminous formula and a matte formula. Today I am using the matte, so that's what the purple on the back is. And then the colors Ivory N160. So there is the um, just amount of product I have. So uh, this is a clean brush. Biggest thing I'll say and mistake, because some people will take foundation, put you know little dots all over their face. So what I've learned is put all the product onto the brush because you'll notice if you're doing those dots, like it's not necessarily all even all over your face. So you might have patchiness with your foundation because of that. Um, so again, putting that foundation on, getting the whole brush covered and then applying to the face. So this brush is like super dense. So I really like that as well. So I'm kind of like going around that contour. Let's get that nose there. <laughs> so nice and go around. And again, kind of those circular motions to be putting on the foundation. The duo sticks really make the skin just nice and just dewy. Um, they're very, the sticks seem very moisturizing to me, which I, I love. Um, it is winter here, so I'm in Michigan. So when you pop on, make sure you're letting me know where you're listening from. So I'm in Michigan. Happy first day of spring. There's snow outside. Okay. Yep, that's where we're at. So if you are listening, let me know where, and it's probably much warmer than, than what it is here. Okay. So 
So there is that. So now what we're gonna do, still pretty harsh I would say in the cheeks, but one other little tip. Now I'm gonna take a concealer. I use my hand for everything, so just make sure your hands are clean. Or I also do have like a little palette that I've used um, to put all the product on and like mix it. You can actually add in nourishing oil into your foundation or even concealers. Um, but I literally just put it on before I came on video. So I feel like I'm definitely nice and hydrated right now. So I'm not necessarily needing that this moment. So with the concealer, I'm taking it putting it on really the top half of this brush. Okay, so where I'm gonna place this is right on those edges there. I'm actually gonna take a brush for the nose. So, what I will say, and this took me a long time to learn, I'm a little bit crazy with my under eye makeup, okay? So I think one thing I notice a lot, and I meet with a lot of different women for skincare consultations, makeup consultations, I'm a freelance makeup artist, um, but a lot of times what we're, we're not setting our face makeup or under eye makeup at all. So there's a difference between uh, setting like powder compared to like a translucent powder um, as well. So, and of course, I think that is over there. So, yep, live. I'm going to get up and go grab it. Perfect. So, and it's not even over here. So, it's fine. <laughs> Hope I'm entertaining everybody. All right, this is what I want. Okay. So again, if you're feeling like, especially with your under eye makeup, if you're like me, a little bit crazy about your under eyes, I'm getting older, starting to get those lines. Um, so you want to make sure you're setting that makeup. So I don't do a lot. So I'm really trying my best to make sure basically about the same amount of product. And this is just to help me get it blended somewhat where I want it here. And again, nice and gentle. So your under eye area has three layers of skin while your face has seven. So you wanna make sure you're very gentle with the under eye area. Think of it like tissue paper and then the rest of your face like wrapping paper. And use an eye cream as soon as possible. If you're not using an eye cream, that's what you got to do. I'm just letting you know. All right, so put on that, uh, that concealer there. So again, under eye corrector takes away that darkness. The concealer is going to brighten and then uh, lift that area, right? So the contour is chiseling out the features of the face. So let's go ahead. I am using, so this is an Ivory One pressed powder, okay? So we're going to take this brush here and just gently pat that product. underneath the eye and then my all over color this is a beige one so this is how much product I'm really not again grabbing a lot of product I know I've said that like a million times but I can't stress that enough you can always add it and yes you know the makeup makeup is all about blending but still, if you don't need all the product, don't be putting all that on, okay? So there is, so far, that contour, the highlight, and then I'm going to go ahead and put on a 
blush here. Oh no, I want to do, let's do a little bit of bronzing too. Okay, so bronze, we'll just do a little bit here. So right on the edge of that contour. So helping to give that sun, sun kiss to the skin. You know, in Michigan, that's what we need. It's coming. Spring is coming. It may be the first day of spring with snow on the ground, but we're almost there. We just had a, a mild storm. I think, was it Friday? Yep. Welcome to Michigan. Okay. And I'll take pictures as well. I'm in a different spot of my office today. So there again, there's the cheek color. We really want to go back, press again, not to wipe off the product, but to help soften any of those lines, harsh lines. Today, I'm just showing you the face makeup. So I won't really get into any eye makeup or anything like that, but I really wanted to show you what this looks like. I want to deepen this a little. Oh no, now I've mixed up my blending brushes. This will work. There we go. So there is that. Now this beauty, this is our highlighting duo stick, pearl and gold, just the one color there. So what I like about this, you can physically go ahead and put it right on like that, or you can take your finger, a brush, and highlight that way as well. So I feel like, especially once I get this puppy on, of course a highlighter with any sparkle is gonna light up the face, but these cream sticks are just a game changer, I feel like. Especially if, all skin types, but I really feel like right now, cream makeup is like all the rage. So if you have drier skin or you're having older skin, you're getting more into the anti, you know, you want to be taking away wrinkles rather than just anti-aging product, that that's the product for you. So um, again, there is the look. So what I'm going to end with is a tiny amount of a silky, it's called a silky setting powder and I'm dry. All right. So normally powders, I'm like, do not put that on my face. So what I love about these silky setting powders is they don't leave you looking like heavy cakey. Again, that's number one, the new formula. Number two, all of the makeup that I use is non-comedogenic and then hypoallergenic as well. So it's not clogging the pores. feel like sometimes, you know, people think, oh, makeup, makeup to cover, cover, cover. But again, you really want to have a good skincare to be able to have your makeup look the best as it can. You have to be taking care of your skin with good products that are skin specific, that are meant for you as well. So I will link everything below to reach out to me for a skincare or makeup consultation. If you want to know for you and your skin, if you have a similar face shape to me, you can use the where I put the contour and let me know when you try it in the comments. Um, I have a video where I went through and swatched all the uh, contour 
the bronzing, excuse me, the bronzing cream sticks and the highlight. And I can link that below as well. So make sure if you are somebody that you love all things beauty, skincare, makeup, and how to actually do it, um, I will be doing tutorials to show you step by step especially if you have more sensitive skin, like rosacea, I have rosacea, could be eczema that you may have, acne, uh, make sure you hit that follow button to make sure the next time, or the subscribe button, the next time that I do my new video, you will be alerted. So I'm just gonna be real. I recorded this video, pre-did it, could not get it to upload it, so that's why I decided to go live. So first one, let me know how I did. So make sure you comment below and subscribe if you are somebody that you want to learn more skincare uh, tips, tricks, tutorials, makeup. I am all things beauty. My name is Brittany and excited to see you in the next video. So have a great week and all, every, all the information will be below for you. Have a good one.